everybody, Brian Shannon here from alphatrends.net. It is Friday, the 14th of uh, June, 2019. Let's look at these markets. Uh, we were kind of mixed, I guess. The semis were down to, uh, the, for the week, which is surprising that the uh, NASDAQ was still up 0.88%. And uh, we also saw a little bit of weakness in oil, of course, and uh, the energy name. So let's take a look at the charts here. Starting out with a daily chart of the S&P 500. Coming into this week, we saw that uh, last week we had a large rally in the market. And it's really impressive, I think, that the market held on to those gains. Here's the weekly uh, performance that we held on to those gains and were actually higher for the week. I was expecting that we would see a little bit of a pullback and then maybe resume. But what we're seeing is that there is still an appetite for stocks up here. People will point to the fact that the volume was lighter, but that's kind of, you know, have to do with summer as well as the fact that only price pays. Now, next week we have a catalyst, uh, potential catal price catalyst with the Federal Reserve meeting. And if we do see a, a knee-jerk sell-off, I think that we'll likely be limited down to about uh, 284 and a half, 285. So if we see that, I think that you know we're likely to see buyers step in that area. And now we have a little bit of a cushion beneath us. So uh, I, I posted this chart on Twitter showing the volume weighted average price levels uh, from a number of first this gap uh, from earlier in the month. And then this is our week to date volume weighted average price. And you can see we closed above that as well. So that's a, a, a good sign that the buyers were there and continued to show up through the week and there are those uh, volume weighted average price levels along with the five day moving average so heading into next week let's look at the 15 minute chart I think that if we see uh, weakness that again about 284 and a half to 285 would likely be where we find support that's also the month to date volume weighted average price so be on the lookout for the potential of a, a sell-off but otherwise you know there's nothing here indicating it would I think that you know if we're to get below and close below below 287 and a half, then we're more likely to head down into that area. For the NASDAQ, as I mentioned, we did finish positive for the week. We were unable to close above the week to date volume weighted average price. Not a big concern, but just something to be aware of. Uh, the daily time frame. if we go back to that, we can see that each day we also close below the 50 day moving average. So in this case, if we see a knee jerk sell off, I think in the uh, NASDAQ, about 178 and a half, 179, would be the place where we see the buyers uh, come back in and defend this market. That is also the volume weighted average price from the beginning of the month. On the upside, if we can get above and hold above 184, then it seems as though this market should be able to go on and maybe challenge those new highs. And same would go for the S&P, that if we get back above this week's highs and are able to hold above it, then new all-time highs seem uh, highly likely. The Russell 2000 did uh, show some strength this week, and this has been one of the uh, weaker groups this year. So it's it's good to see that it's you know holding on. And I think that this week's lows are going to be important. We'll also see that that 20 day moving average, which is currently declining, will start to flatten out next week if we can hold in this area. We are still stuck below the 50 and 200 day moving average. So I think the best thing we would look for next week is for a surge uh, above the, these uh, moving averages and then to hold on to there, that would build the uh, foundation for uh, you know for this market to, to uh, be able to build some further upside and catch up to the other markets. I think 150 is the key level for next week, 149 and a half to 150. That's the month to date volume weighted average price and the volume weighted average price from the low on the last day of uh, May. So we're still not out of the woods in the Russell 2000 but it's trying to hold on and trying to uh, show that it can hold. If it cannot hold above uh, 149 and a half, 150, then we could see uh, it, it's something I would uh, take seriously. Semiconductors came pretty close to the declining 50 day moving average and backed off. Let me just clear that off because it was overlapping today's action. You can see we are above the 200 day moving average, but below the volume weighted average price year to date. The volume weighted average price from the December lows, however, we're right at. So, you know, we saw some pullback in here after a nice bounce. And now I think we just need to let these semiconductors kind of settle down 
and absorb some news and see what's going on. Um, it's likely that people will be pointing out to a potential you know, shoulder, head, and shoulder in here, and that's certainly a scenario. I definitely would not short below this level next week as it would be too far extended at that point. We've just dropped from 109, so shorting below 99 would not make sense after that decline. It could make money, but the odds just aren't good. Again, we always ask ourselves, where has it come from? And if it drops 10 points and into this prior band of support, then it undercuts it slightly. I think you're more likely to see the shorts get squeezed and then continue lower if we see weakness. But overall, I think you just stay away from the biotech uh, semiconductors until they settle down. Biotechs, the weekly chart, still looking ugly here. And this group was down on the week. Uh, you know, we're above the 20 day moving average. That's kind of neutralizing a little bit. But just overhead, we have a declining uh, 50 day and 200 day moving average. We're below the year to date volume weighted average price. We're below the volume weighted average price from the fearful sell off in December as well, with a pattern uh, still in here of lower highs and lower lows. So I don't think it's safe to buy these biotechs. I would stay away from them. You're better, you know, maybe they can rally, but uh, they just don't, uh, the, you know, the daily chart doesn't give us a reason to be confident at all. The financials uh, are still holding up. Uh, they're holding above that 50 day moving average. That's good to see. Uh, the 20 day moving average coming up. And overall, the financials are a good looking group. Now, when we look at a 30 minute time frame, this 27 level is going to be important, I think, uh, next week. If it breaks below that, I would say get a lot more defensive. Thanks for tuning in. This is uh, the same type of analysis I do every single evening for Alpha Trend subscribers. If you subscribe to the uh, uh, basic level, it's only $250 a year for the index uh, uh, analysis every single day.